feels so puffy. It's very early in the morning. I'm gonna quickly do my makeup and the end goal for my face is to not look like a ghost. I wake up at 6 a.m. to work on my computer and do laptop work on a very consistent basis, but these coming few days, I'm actually gonna be running experiments in the lab, so it's gonna be 6 a.m. day. It's like extra difficult in the morning because it's getting so cold. It's like entering fall season. Today, I'm going into lab to prep and coat plates for the experiments that I want to run tomorrow and the day after, and usually the prep procedure is the day to the week before. I think today, the lab work will actually only take about four hours in total, so it's not too bad. Of course, as a grad student, lab work is not the only thing I'm doing. I'm also juggling my time between my experiments and two papers that I'm writing up. And I want to leave enough time today after prepping and coating plates to also write my papers. Today is Thursday, so I'm actually going to be running experiments tomorrow, Friday, as well as Saturday, the day after. Waking up early and leaving at like 6, 30, 7 a.m., it sucks. But personally, I do prefer waking up super early and then just getting my experiments done earlier in the day because my brain starts to fog up around like 4 or 5 p.m. And if you've run experiments before, you know you need to be like 100% locked in always to make sure you don't mess up. Okay, how do we look? Makeup is done. I do feel physically more awake with makeup on it. We're in the walk-in refrigerator right now, I'm grabbing reagents and prepping my kids for the experiments for the next two days. I'm not wearing any gloves because we're not dealing with biological samples. It's just bottles and tubes. just got home after prepping for tomorrow. I'm, I'm really tired, but I do have some more work to do. I have to grade some assignments because I'm teaching a course and deadlines are coming up, so I'm gonna do that tonight. I think right now though, I just need like a moment where I'm not doing any work. I wanna head to a cafe and just bring my journal and my book with me. So this, Butter, I have been wanting to read for months. I actually bought this months ago, but honestly, I got like 50 pages in and then I got sidetracked, I got busy, and then I did 
didn't read it. And then also just staying consistent with my journaling. I'm trying to journal at least every other day because being too busy to journal is not really a good excuse. I think the central theme recently with my journal is just burnout and stress. With my PhD progressing into senior years, I'm getting more responsibilities, higher expectations from my supervisors, just giving me a lot of anxiety, lots of stress. I would like clock in eight hours in the lab, then come home. I'm exhausted from waking up at 6 a.m., but then I'm still typing my paper. And I have always had a challenge finding work-life balance, but recently it's been like, especially tough. I had actually started therapy earlier this year about burnout and stress as well. And I'm very open about my therapy to my friends. It helped me realize that my ambitions and my goals are great, but it doesn't mean that I have to burn out from it. And I found a therapist who was a really good listener and helped me gain a really new perspective. It helped me realize that ambition and having good career goals, it's not necessarily a bad thing. The ability to say no is an art form that I have not mastered. After trying therapy for myself, I strongly believe in it. BetterHelp is actually the paid partner on this video and they're focused on making starting therapy a lot easier. I like BetterHelp because I prefer virtual sessions. I'm always super busy and I knew it would be really unrealistic to keep up with therapy sessions weekly if I had to physically travel for it. All you have to do is fill out a really easy online questionnaire and you will be matched with a therapist. You can easily switch between therapists at no extra cost if you don't think it's the right fit. If you would like to give BetterHelp a try, you can go to the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com slash Pooh and get 10% off your first month of therapy. you and I'm really excited to like start chatting and potentially work together. I steamed some veggies for dinner tonight and I also steamed extra for lunch tomorrow. I already have rice meal prepped in the fridge. It's my favorite way to cook up like a giant batch of rice and then just pull out for a healthy carb. Chicken drumsticks that I cooked the night before. For lunch tomorrow, it's boiled eggs and then steamed veggies. I kind of overcooked the broccoli a little bit, but it's the effort that counts. You will not catch me buying lunch at school. I refuse. It's usually quite expensive. The food's not very good and usually it's not healthy. So it makes me feel really gross afterwards. So it's like negatives in all aspects. I'm just gonna eat my boiled eggs. Let's do it again.
I forgot to drink water all day. Meeting an extra late lunch. There's 20 minutes left to my experiment. And then after that, I analyze. Actually, I'm not going home. I have dinner with my friends tonight, but my brain is mush. I'm gonna eat this and then simmer in my own thoughts. It's actually Monday, which is Canadian Thanksgiving. I want to tell you guys about what happened this past week, but I have been waiting for the past 15 minutes for these sirens to... But they're not, so if you hear sirens in the background, that's just me living in the middle of the city. It is actually a few days now since the last time I picked up the camera. Went to a little Friendsgiving gathering yesterday with the lab, which is so much fun. And when you have a good lab dynamic and you can actually call your lab mates friends, you celebrate Thanksgiving together. But anyways, I was supposed to go in on Saturday morning to run another experiment similar to Friday. I had everything all prepped and planned out. And unfortunately, on Friday night, I was analyzing my results results from that day and I realized that something was wrong with the experiment. The numbers that I was analyzing just didn't look correct and I just could not figure out what was happening despite staying at school for two hours longer and I was just like so sad <laughs> for the rest of the weekend. It's just like not a very good way to enter into a Thanksgiving long weekend. I just dropped my camera down and I just took a couple days to myself, just try to enjoy my weekend on my own, celebrate with family. But Today is Monday, there's no school today, um, but school resumes tomorrow and I still have not figured out what was wrong with the experiment because I called the company for tech support and they don't work on Thanksgiving weekend. So unfortunately, I'm not hearing back from them until later this week. I'm really hoping that the issue resolves. Bigger thing is, of course, I, I'm hoping that it's not a mistake that I'm making because experiments are really, really expensive. It's just like a time cost and a financial cost that I'm trying to avoid and it's causing me a lot of stress. The current mentality is I'm trying to see it in a positive light. I do have so, so much computer work to catch up on that I'm falling behind on it because I'm spending so much time in the lab and I am not dedicating nearly enough time to my manuscript and to some of the things that I need to do. So I'm gonna spend today and probably the next few days just working on my computer trying to get all of those deadlines complete. Yeah, mood is quite low. The day is gloomy, so it's not really helping cheering me up, but we're gonna be okay. another unprecedented moment and I feel like I do this literally only once a year. We are 
trying out new skincare products together. Specifically, I picked up two cleansers and I'm so excited to try them. A few days ago when my experiments failed at school, I got like really sad and I'm not really a retail therapy person, but I just needed to get out of the house. So I went to the mall and I just did some skincare shopping. This I had already actually tried for a few nights and I really like it, but this is a brand new like oil balm cleanser that I've never tried for removing makeup. This is the oil cleanser that I was using before. I know a lot of people love this and rave about this, but like I have used this for the better part of the year and I can tell you I don't like it at all. It doesn't really remove my mascara that well. This the lady at the store recommended it to me. I love the holographic packaging. Like I can't tell what the brand is. There's so many different names on it. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's all pink. It comes with like a little plastic lid and then a spatula as well. smells mostly like nothing, but then there's like a scent of strawberry. <gasps> Is this enough? Okay, I already like this so much better than the oil cleanser that I was using before. It was so little effort to like wipe off my waterproof mascara. This is the Green Tangerine Foaming Cleanser. This, I love. It foams up super nicely. You use only a tiny amount. Honestly, this is like a lot. It smells very lightly citrusy, super refreshing. And again, like it just takes off all of the gunk off my skin so nice. This is giving me the inner peace that I need after the weekend that I had. I feel slightly better after that little self-care night. I'm still stressed thinking about what had happened in the lab this past week and hopefully in the coming few days I'll have some more answers. It's experiments, nothing goes straight and perfectly. It's kind of stupid for me to think that things would run smoothly right from the very beginning. But yeah, that was my Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, for watching, for staying all the way to the very end. If you are also having issues in lab, in school, in life, just so you know, everyone's going through it, including me, so you are definitely not alone. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.